is up guys? I know most of uh, my friends are going to be watching this. I know they're not WWE fans. They might think it's gay. But you know, when I was little, I used to like WWE. I haven't watched it since like 2006. Right. Yeah, well, I mean like, I haven't... I didn't, like, I start. I left in 2006. And then I came back around uh, 2011. No, I think it was 12. Yeah. And then, yeah, and I've lost interest in WWE for about two years now, ever since 2013. But now I'm back and I watched the SummerSlam pay-per-view. And it was terrible. John Cena and Seth Rollins, the host of the show, this John somebody dude, comes out, hits Cena with a chair. What? Well, for one, Cena had the... Match one on Rollins, and then of course you know, Cena, Cena has the no, Cena had the win on Rollins, and then the referee was knocked out. So you know, and then here comes the John dude hits him with the chair. You know, referee finally comes back in, or no, the referee hasn't came back in yet. Pedigree from Seth Rollins, even though that should be Triple H doing it. On to John Cena. Referee comes in. One, two, three. It's a Seth Rollins victory. So now Seth Rollins has the U.S. title and. The WWE title. Undertaker versus Lesnar. The match was terrible. That was supposed to be the beast and the streak. But the streak's over. Brock Lesnar beat the streak. So now Undertaker's going for revenge. Wow. Undertaker, Undertaker, Undertaker. Undertaker is a known man for never losing. Barely. And a lot of people, if you do not know, should know, maybe by now if you're a WWE fan, that Undertaker had a concussion and that's the only reason why his streak ended was because he had a concussion during the match and he told Lesnar to beat him. And Chickenfish is online, hi. Um, but yeah, and um, so this they let Undertaker win. Everyone thought Kane was going to return because Kane got injured because Lesnar threw like steps on him and hurt him. Well, Kane, Kane's ready. He's like, he doesn't, he's not injured anymore. So everyone thought Kane would come back, help his brother win the match. Brock Lesnar put Undertaker in the Kimura lock. Undertaker taps out, but the referee, yet again, is knocked out. Just like the Seth Rollins match, how convenient. And then Brock Lesnar, well, Paul Heyman, and Brock Lesnar get the referee back up. Undertaker hits the tombstone. One, two, three. Undertaker prevailed with a really crappy match. And Dolph Ziggler versus Rusev ended in a double count out. Yeah. And... In the team, and then in the three-team Divas match, Team 1 already got eliminated in the first minute. It was like watching a three-on-three. Three. It was not a three-on-three-on-three. On three on three. It was three versus three. Which I think was really stupid, in my opinion. And the New Day won the tag titles. And then that was really it. The only good match I really liked was Dean Ambrose... Roman Reigns versus the Lions. Actually, I like the triple threat match between Ryback and Big Show. That was a pretty good match. I like how uh, Ryback stole the... P Big Show knocked out the Miz. Could have went for the cover. He decided to go after Ryback. Ryback Ryback moved over. Big Show fell over the ropes. And uh, Ryback went for the pin. Miz is done. Big Show wins. So now here's what I'm going to do. These are going to be what I think would happen at the next pay-per-view after this. So, guys, ready for this? Holla at me. Oh, yeah, I am doing theme songs by the way. And if you're not a WWE fan, don't watch this. And don't make fun of me, because I'm making this video. You don't need to make fun of me, you faggots. You have better things to do in your life. So, go have fun with that. I mean, you could say, you know, WWE's gay, you know, with the way stupid times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's entertainment, okay? They're not really gay. Now see, you can say they're gay for doing that, but hey, they make millions off this, so you need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> but, alright, let's get with the matches. So, match number one for the Divas title, we got Nikki Bella, Day Ass Song, yup, and then we got Jimmy Snuka, a WWE Legends daughter, Tamina Snuka from Team Bad, in a Divas match, one on one. Yeah, that's match number one. The next match, people are saying, what? What? So, screw the end. But, <laughs> let's, let's just focus on this. So, we got, uh, at the SummerSlam pay-per-view, it was Roman and Dean versus 
Luke Harper, and Bray Wyatt. The Wyatts broke up, but now they're back together. Eric Rowan, no one knows where he is. On Raw, Eric Rowan comes back to attack Roman while he's facing Luke one-on-one. -on -one. So the Wyatts, the Wyatts, all three of them come back to face one time again. Roman Reigns, The Rock's cousin, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's cousin, and the flying maniac, Dean Ambrose. Yeah, handicapped two on three tag match. This happened in real life. I think this would be a pretty good pay per view. My opinion already. Now we know that Mark Henry's been teaming with the uh, Prime Time players who had the tag titles. Well, at SummerSlam, the New Day won the tag titles. So I have the New Day. Yep. That's the start of it. The New Day versus the Prime Time Players. Hold on, me. And Mark Henry. Sorry, Mark Henry. But, you know, you're not really part of the Prime Time Players. And it's an elimination tag match. The next, the next match we have is actually a match I would like to see in real life. We got... Ryback! One of the strongest fans of WWE. A lot of people know him as Skip Sheffield from the Nexus. And yeah, Ryback. You know? People say he takes steroids. This is a picture of him, actually. Yeah, but um, we got Ryback versus the 7 foot tall, 500 pound. The Big Show. Basically, it's Powerhouse versus Powerhouse, really. And for the Intercontinental Championship. The next match we got is... Sheamus! You know, Sheamus, the Celtic Warrior, versus the one and only... Viper, Randy, or is. Shout out to this one place if he's watching this. Uh, Randy Orton's thing goes, I hear voices in my head and they talk to me. We were playing Black Ops 2 and I said, I see voices and I hear people. I see voices and I hear people. That should be Randy Orton's new theme song. Make it happen. Hashtag make it happen. This match is something nobody would ever expect, right? Rusev and Ziggler have been going at it over the girl, over their girl friends. So Rusev, the brutal Russian, versus the show off, Dolph Ziggler. Now here's where Fandango comes in. Fandango comes in because Summer Rae's with Rusev, Lana's with Ziggler. It's like a big steel girl relationship here, and. In this game, Fondango stole Vicky from him. So, you know, he's got his girl. He's got his girl. And he's got his girl. It's like a threesome no one wanted to watch. But we did it anyway in a triple threat match. Winner takes. All the bitches. Getting all the hoes. <laughs> Getting all the hoes. Making money. Can I, put, can I be in this match? Fuck it. Fuck okay, it. I'll put Juicy on the line. And. For this match. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Everyone knows. John Cena. Fuck you Cena. Fuck you, Cena! Fuck you, Cena! Fuck you, Cena! Oh my god, I love and every John Cena match, one side of the crowd's going, Let's go, Cena! Fuck you, Cena! Or they'll say, Sock Boot, not, Fuck you, Cena! And we got 
the authority handpicked the future Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins. Seth, I like what they did with this storyline, you know? The authority, you know, take over Daniel Bryan. The shield break up. Triple H takes over the evolution. I'm not going to talk too much about this. Check out how much time left in this video. I have five minutes. And it's for both titles, the U.S. and WWE Championship. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, and I'm going to remind you, that something will happen in this match. It's not going to be just Cena and Seth Rollins. If you watch WWE, you'll know what I'm talking about. And it's an Extreme Rules match, which means, you know, ever since that John guy, fuck you, John, you screwed John Cena, John versus John, I have no fucking clue. But yeah. So, yeah. And, um, so basically, you know, Seth Rollins and Cena, Extreme Rules, so Cena can do whatever he wants. So, the, so you're thinking, how, doesn't it mean he can just interfere? That's where the extreme rules parts come in. Alright? Cena so has anything he can use. Which means, if we all remember, Cena can use anything. And that's where it comes into play. Cena can use anything, so it's not just like Cena has to fight the dude. But yeah, and that's how I have the pay per view going. I mean, I'm gonna do this pay per view. Uh, tonight, it'll probably be uploaded tomorrow, though, and this is going to be uh, some good pay per view, hopefully. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, and, um, I'm out. Actually, wait. I just wanted to do this. Hold on. Let me do my outro. Let me do my outro real quick. Hold on. I'm sorry that I don't have this prepared. I'm out. Heist. Outro, Karen. Okay.